Welcome back. Big Brothers Big Sisters of NYC stands as the nation's pioneering and the city's largest youth mentoring organization. Over a century, their mission has been to pair youth with mentors, guiding them towards successful futures. Nonetheless, the youth in the Bronx lack the access they deserve to these vital resources. And joining us is the Director of Recruitment and Outreach at Big Brothers Big Sisters of New York City, Aaron Frager and Aaron, good to see you back again. Aaron, good to Actually, see you. Actually, it's in Aaron. person, right? This is yes. the first time we're doing it. Doing it, we did it in COVID, right? No, we did it in person, 2019. So 2019, we were good. Okay. We just missed it. COVID, COVID just, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been that long. For That's sure. Put, let's put it like that. For sure. Talk to me about how things have been, though. I mean, obviously, uh, we've had COVID. We've come through that, and uh, we're in another place right now. And you're still looking for mentors and yeah. those to take part uh, in Big Brothers Big Sisters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's been busy, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, but um, similar to prior to the pandemic, where we were in a position that we wanted to increase the number of mentors coming from the borough, um, we started to make headway, and then COVID hit. So now we are trying. We are revisiting this with this new initiative, the Be Bronx Be Big initiative. Um, and this is really rooted in, again, increasing the number of mentors that are root that are from the Bronx to serve youth in the Bronx. Um, but it also extends past that to now connecting with um, elected officials, um, uh, uh, faith-based leaders, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, influencers that are all representing the community um, and want to get involved in a different capacity. So we've got this next generation of youth that are actually out there, and uh, being a mentor is something that you're looking for. What is the criteria? Because some people say, oh, my God, I don't know. Time might be a huge commitment. I might not be able to pull it. What's the commitment? Like? Yeah, so it is a commitment. Right? Yeah. We don't we don't want to lie to people to, to for them to think like, oh no, it's 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 just a one off thing. No, um, the commitment is that you're meeting with this young person for a minimum of a year, right? So you're going to be matched for at least a year, um, at least twice a month. I um, mean, this happens on the weekend, so it doesn't interfere with the child's school schedule and the volunteer's typical work schedule. Um, but overall, through those um, interactions on twice a month, is really to build that um, the foundation for their relationship um, and really working towards the different goals that they may have. So yeah. the goals can be academic based. They could be um, goals based on behavior confidence building, any of those um, different pillars. Um, but it's all rooted in that, um, what the goal setting uh, between the, the mentor and the mentee. So you pretty much have to have a weekend available, though. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if, you're, if you're doing a week, no, weekends, that's, you're the person. Mm -hmm. So what's it been like for you seeing, are we seeing a decline in mentors? Or uh, because, you know, a lot of people have gotten busy. We see more people working from home. Yeah. What's, what, what are you seeing on your end? On my end, um, it's it's a mix. Um, I would say specifically in the Bronx, we have a lot of people that are working, you know, completely full time. Sometimes one or two jobs, right? So mm -hmm. they, while they do want to make an impact in the community, they're like, you know what, mentoring may not be the right thing for me, right? right. So where we are leaning in, especially on this campaign, is about helping helping us spread the word, right? If you know you can't do it, maybe there is somebody in your network that can, right? Or maybe you can help out in a different capacity by helping us coordinate an event or partnering with us in a different capacity. So like, it's really just. Um, identifying what's the right fit in terms of like being a part of this overall initiative to support the community. Someone may say, how important is mentoring or what the value may be? Give me, from your perspective, what you've been able to see in terms of the mentor and the mentee relationship and how it's really impacted lives. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so overall, youth are enrolled in our program from as early as seven years old, right? Um, we have mentoring relationships that extend past their high school mark where they're going into college, they're going into their professional careers in different capacities. Uh, the mentorship is really there to be an extension of their support network, right? So they're working alongside those parent and guardians, um, holding, the, holding these young people accounting, helping them hold themselves accountable, um, and really being a driver um, in the direction of their future. So whether that's in a uh, career in media, <laughs> there's a career in finance, whatever it may be, um, the mentor is really there to be that guiding light um, and to give access to them. Like that's all. That's the ultimate purpose. Um, I myself was in a program when I was a kid, so um, ooh, middle school, long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, from my experience, you know, brought me here today in the same capacity because I had that mentor that was able to kind of show me that there are multiple options there in in business or whatever it may be. Um, so that's really what we hone in on in terms of um, the overall experience of what, why that's important. And of course, the, the mentee is the one who pretty much sets the tone for what the mentorship is going to look like, right, in terms of need, because they're people who stand in the need. And I think sometimes 
I've heard stories of, well, the mentor comes in with their thought, but the reality is you build around the mentee. Absolutely, yeah, we really have to meet the young people where they're at, right? We have mentees that come in and they are straight A students, right? So they're not there to get uh, enhancement in their education. Maybe they're coming for a different reason, right? So we have to listen to them, right, being that active listener to understand what it is they're looking to get out of the program and how we can best meet their need. Uh, and that's where we tell the, uh, the, the, the mentors, uh, the bigs, to really have that open mind, right? Um, really be a consistent presence so that being able to um, go to those uh, monthly meetings with them, their, their match outings, as well as uh, just being that active listener that can really be a part of their overall support network. When you talk about that relationship, right? Yeah. The mentor, the mentee, very critical. Um, you said the minimum that you could do is a year. How long have you been seeing these relationships last for mentor or mentees? Yeah, so um, the average right now is about three years, um, but the longest I've seen, <laughs> um, we actually were honored someone that, you know, they were match back in, I want to say it was like 1930 or something. What? And <laughs> he said Yes, yes, the big and little are still very much connected all through the lives. He mentored him outside of the program and continued to support his needs all the way into through adulthood. Mm. Um, so there's really, I, I've seen it on the short end, you know, just, you know, three about, about three years, and then on the longer end, it could be 10 plus years. Wow. Um, and this is, we honor these people on an annual basis at our volunteer recognition event, and that's really celebrating the journey that they've had together. For people who want to get involved as a, as a mentor, and uh, they're out there, what, do you, what advice do you give them right now? Yeah, if you want to get involved with, as a mentor, you go to bigsnyc.org. Um, you can also email us at info at bigsnyc.org. And lastly, connect with us on social media. Um, our team is working very diligently to field all requests. Um, to, it's really easy to just go to our website, get involved. Um, all the links are there. Um, and we'll be sure to share those out after the broadcast as well. Right. And what are some of the challenges that you're actually mm -hmm. facing during this time? Because uh, obviously every organization is having their set of challenges. From behind, your, uh, from behind your desk, what are you seeing? One of the biggest challenges is that um, our parents, right, they're looking to find outlets for their young people. Um, I think uh, it's been really widely recognized that a, young, a lot of our young people suffered socially um, coming out of the pandemic. Um, so they are looking for a new outlet um, and an experience um, that can best support their social emotional learning of their young people. So that's what we're looking to bring to the table here. Yeah, and when we talk about that challenge of parents um, and coming out after COVID, obviously we know that it's been yeah. very hard. People have been home and coming out. And then you also look at the world, because the world's changed, right? Yep. And you see a lot of craziness in the world. But to your credit, having an organization like Big Brothers Big Sisters it's got to be a great outlet for a parent because they know you're a trusted organization that's been around for years, and so people should be able to lean in and say, hey, you know what, here we go. <laughs> Thank you for that, yeah, 119 years to be exact. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I think that the, the continuity of our organization is something that um, we do want people to kind of hone in on. We've been here, we've been doing the work, and we're very proud of that. Um, and then lastly, like, the program... Yes, you're going to get a mentor, but what that mentorship looks like is going to look different for each individual youth, but honing in on that, it creates access, right? Now your, young per now your child has an opportunity to be connected with business leaders in different sectors, right? They get exposure um, to different opportunities throughout the city that we connect them to. So we, we really act as a connector um, to help, you know, give these young people access to different, different uh, possibilities overall. Yeah. Is there a success story, six, uh, success story that sticks out for you? There are many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I want to say um, there is a young person named Aiden who um, he wrote the book Me and My Afro. He's one of those success stories that always jumps up, jumps into my mind. Um, but it's really rooted in um, having that support from his mentor, especially his his, his mom is amazing. Um, but having that that strong um, network of support. Um, has helped him really reach new heights, and we've got to see that on our end, um, see him grow from uh, that young, you know, I believe he was like 10 when he started the program into what he is now, I think he's about 15, so it's been great. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you for coming and sharing with us. I think it's a great opportunity for people to really jump in, and um, as I said, you know, if they need a credible organization, you've been there. And you've been there for a minute, right? Yes, I have. So it's really, I mean, in, in all honesty, it's impacted your life in such a way where you've went from being the mentee mm -hmm. to now the mentor and now the advocate. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations, Darren. And we thank you so much for being with us. Thanks so much, Darren. Good to have you. Thank All you. Alrighty. Listen, I want you to know if you want more information, do me a favor. Visit the website, bigsnyc.org, and then follow them 
on social media at BBBSNYC. I'm going to encourage you, do me a favor. Don't go anywhere. we got more open coming up, more shows.